was the year of 1854, or 1857, one can't be sure, that a third Kelly sister, Anora, was born. Her father a drunk, a tailor and fiend, her mother in the ground, being eaten, unseen. Her father with eyes sewn shut in a daze, dropped off his two youngest at an orphanage for babes. Her eldest sister would work in a crib. Her older sister would crack like a nut. And Anora, poor girl, would be placed in a home full of riches and happiness, but none for her own. The Toppins would care for her, as long as she served. A new name they would give her, Jane Toppin, they said. She'd be a daughter indentured. She should try to fit in. She'd sweep and she'd mop as the Toppins would play. Elizabeth, their true daughter, all prim and adored, would become Jane's main target, increasing with age. She went off to college, to Cambridge she went, to learn how to nurse the dying and sick. Jolly Jane they would call her, her smile so bright, hiding a secret of murder and plight. She found a new medicine, morphine the name, that would sedate and silence every patient the same. In all kinds of doses, she'd mix and she'd play, as she climbed into bed, a kiss she would give as death crept their way. Her patients would drift slowly away, but she'd bring them right back just to kill them <laughs> the next day. Her curiosity would get her fired, but she'd bounce back right away into the homes of new patients where she would take their treasures and find them new homes <laughs> in shallowed graves. Elizabeth would fall ill, and to her side would run Jane to play nurturing sister, who would only increase the pain. For weeks, Jane would administer a drug meant to kill that would send her poor sister into seizures and choking spells. She'd pretend she was trying to save and protect, but her death would bring peace, revenge, <laughs> and laugh. To the next home she went to caretake and nurse, for the mother had just died, a job done by Jane, fast and perverse. She'd slowly poison the whole Davis household, the father, his sister, two daughters, in a murder ice cold. The youngest was cut open and tested for poison. Jane's game was up. Quickly, she was taken. In shackles and chains to court she would go. Her tale she would tell about murder and joy an axe filled with pain. Nowhere more she would show her eyes cold to the core. Her goal, she would say, was to kill more than any before. The jury would come to a conclusion so fast. Despite what she claimed, she was mad that was that. In the truck she was thrown, to the asylum she flew, and away like a dash, Jolly Jane was locked up to repent for her sins. But no course of treatment could cure her cruel soul, for in her dreams would be faces, dancing and grim, each victim crying on her face, a grin. And just like her sister, in the asylum she would die, replaying her words, your life shall be mine.